what is going on youtube it is your boy sean and i am back in this thing with some more madden 25 connected franchise gameplay we're in week three about to play game three against the chicago bears we are one and one they are 0 and two hopefully we can go two and one and uh get this win in home against the chicago bears but let's see Coliseum, where every Sunday is Halloween for this preseason matchup between the Bears and the Raiders. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Bill Sims. We're live here tonight for this primetime matchup. It's all kinds of energy and excitement in the air as these teams are ready to take center stage. How about it, Phil? Oh, man, it's going to be a lot of people watching this game tonight. The old bad eye is on you. So, in other words, we're going to focus in on these players. It's going to be fun to watch. And when they all know that all these people are watching, that brings out the emotion. Should be hard hitting. Should be a lot of fun to watch. Now we go down to field level as Danielle Bellini has more on today's matchup. Thanks, Jim. The coaching staff spoke about avoiding the big play on the road in this one, especially early on, because, guys, if this crowd gets going, it becomes yet another element you have to battle against. And with this being one of the loudest stadiums in the NFL, the coaching staff wants to do everything in its power to minimize the noise. Of course, the... All right. The Chicago Bears lost the coin toss, and we, or I decided to uh, go with receive. And uh, usually we'll start off with a run, but I'm feeling I'm feeling like going ahead and, and trying to confuse the defense with this play action pass. And um, yeah, so let's see if we can confuse the defense. Uh, do I want to change any routes? No. All right, play action pass. Let's go. X wide open, baby. Casa, go, 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 go. Yeah, 35 yards to start the game off like a boss. Casa, boy, he might be my right-hand man. All right, we're making our way up the field. We're on a 38-yard line. First and 10 screen pass. Ah, yes, sir, go ahead, get it. Go ahead, ah, ah, it's whatever. I'm two for two, 39 yards so far. We're on second and six. We are now on a 34-yard line. It's second and six. I'm giving it off to McFadden once again. This time, no screen pass. Just giving him the ball. And he's trucking that boy over. And he's getting past the yellow line, which means we're getting that first down. First and ten. Let's go. Taking another look at this beautiful replay. That boy trucked the hell out of dude. <laughs> All right, 25-yard line. Stepping back. Oh, I didn't even see do it right there. I ran right into him like an idiot. That was my fault. My fault. Shotgun formation, second and 15. Castle going out there. Uh, Cribs going out there on the street. All right. Bad pass, but I'm going for it. Ah, damn, man. Them dudes was rushing. They bum rushed the hell out of me. I had to hurry up and throw the damn ball. Good swat, though. All right, third and 15. We're going to try to confuse the defense with this play action pass. Hopefully, something works. Ah, my goodness. Nothing worked. Fourth and 10. Damn, damn, damn. Right. Field goal. Hopefully we can get this field goal and go up by three. Come on, kick the field goal. Thank you. And that's in there. There's no way in hell he's missing that. I thought we had a butt kicker, but obviously not. We are making our way up the field, and I am loving it. One minute and 30 seconds to go. Giving it off to my boy McFadden. Go ahead and block for him. Oh, good block. Touchdown. Touchdown. No. What a 
Ah, oh, come on. He was right there. Good blocks. Great blocks, actually. Great blocks. That was great. Great blocking. He was right there. Couple of inches shy of getting that touchdown. Right there. Less than one minute left. Go straight up Let's the middle. Get the touchdown. touchdown. Get this touch. Oh, he took it to the left. But we got the TD, though. We got the touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Darren McFadden, my boy. Keep it up. Yes. Keep it up. It's not. Yes, it's over. We won. 16 and 3. We are 2 and 1. And the Chicago Bears are 0 and 3. I will see y'all against the Seahawks. The team was up for the occasion here, winning in prime time. Nothing like it, man. Winning in prime time when you know it's all about you. And I've said many times, today's football players, they love being on the big stage. Well, they all right. We're ready to go up against the Seahawks. We are 2-1. and one. They are 1-2. and two. And we're in Seattle, so this is going to be tough. This team is good on both sides, offense and defense. So this one is going to be tough. But let's see what happens. What's the word from down by the benches? Daniel Bellini has the latest. Thanks, Jim. The coaching staff spoke about avoiding the big play on the road in this one, especially early on, because, guys, if this crowd gets going, it becomes yet another element you have to battle against. And with this being one of the loudest stadiums in the NFL, the coaching staff wants to do everything in its power to minimize the noise. Of course, the best. All right, shut up, bitch. Anyway, <laughs> we lost the coin toss, and uh, Seattle chose to receive, so I got it. Oh, and we stopped them on defense. Good defense. And uh, we're going to start off with a counter run. And let's see what we can do. We're on the 49-yard line. Let's see what my boy Aaron McFadden McFad can do on this run right here. First Go. Get him. Go. Ah, uh, loss of one yard. Damn it. All right, we're dead on the 50-yard line, the middle of the field. We're going to try to confuse the Seattle defense with this play-action play or play-action pass. My fault. And uh, we're going to head a hike in the ball. And square. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not a first down, but close to it. And I'm good. Rivera with nine yards. All right, first and ten. Screen pass to my boy McFadden. Go ahead and pick up that first down. Ooh. I guess not. God damn. He got put on his ass. We're going to give it off to my boy McFadden one more time. See what he can do with it. And he gets his ass knocked out once again. Oh, hell. Damn, my boy McFadden is injured, man. Shit, I should have passed it on that play. All right, play action pass. One and 17 yard line. First and 10. Cassa, can you be open for me? Yes, sir. Touchdown. That was a great play. Great catch, too, by my boy Castle. Go ahead and dunk that in the field goal. Yeah. 25 seconds left. Oh, my boy McFadden is back on the field. All right. Uh, X. No bad. Oh. Oh, no. You could have caught that. Come on, man. All right. 15 seconds left on a 28-yard line. Second and 10. Play action and pass. Play action. Who's going to be? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. Damn. All right. It's seven seconds left. I want to get my team up the field before I'm sat on the bench for the rest of the game. And uh, let's see what we can do here. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted is to get my team up the field before I'm sat on the bench for the rest of the game. That's all I wanted. Play that defense. Play that defense. Play that defense. Don't let them score. Come on. Do not let them score. Yes, we scored. Game, baby. Let's go. We won by six. That's what I'm talking about. Three and one on these motherfuckers. I will see y'all in my next video. You've often talked about prime time and how the players of today have this it's all about me kind of a mentality. And for you in the booth, you had to enjoy it being all about you having a chance to call this one today in prime time. <laughs> That's right, it's all about me, and it would have been if I could have just got you to be quiet for a few minutes, but it's awesome to win in a game that's featured in everybody in the country, all your peers, they watch you, it just doesn't get better.
Make sure y'all stay tuned in to this series because up next, it's the regular season. It's the first game of the regular season and we're going up against the Indiana Colts. Stay tuned.